Fear of God Athletics is now on the verge of releasing. Yes, it's been confirmed. So for the purposes of today's video, let's go over every single model that's been leaked and what we know for sure. So it's been about three years since Jerry Lorenzo's departure from Nike to the brand with the three stripes. And since then, we've seen a small quantity of sweatshirts drop from Adidas and Fear of God, a few sneakers leaked that are set to release and a few not set to release. And of course, who can forget the iconic Hollywood Bowl fashion show where headlined by Pusha T himself, we got the biggest glimpse of what we can come to expect from the team at Fear of God in collaboration with Adidas, along with the mainline counterpart that is the Fear of God 8th Collection. Three years later, and the public finally gets to get their hands on Fear of God Athletics. How do I know this? Well, it came from the goat's mouth himself, as Jerry Lorenzo did subtly comment back to somebody in his post, stating that we are about two weeks away. While I know two weeks out is a pretty general statement, but this lines up perfectly and confirms that December 8th release date that we did discuss here on the channel a few months back. So what's gonna be dropping on December 8th? That part isn't 100% set in stone, but for the sake of a little speculation, which is pretty fun to do from time to time, that's what we're gonna be going over today, going over every single model that we've seen and the likelihood of them dropping on December 8th. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about clothing. Fortunately for us, Jerry took the guesswork out of it because he essentially showed us what we can come to expect. From the very beginning of Jerry's announcement between himself and Adidas, he kind of dawned on us this new logo representing the Trinity or the three stripes, essentially letting us know there's a bit of symbolism to that new logo relating to his faith, as well as with the brand, which was ultimately translated first in the form of the t-shirts that released during the Hollywood Bowl show. I do anticipate this logo being found on a myriad of t-shirts, crew neck sweaters, as well as hoodies. We've actually seen the hoodies a few times. So for that reason, we can expect that to drop on December 8th. Next, there is a brand new Adidas typeface or font, which does seem to be associated exclusively for Fear of God Athletics. We saw this brand new font or typeface on the yellow hoodie, as well as on a myriad of different garments, such as the sweatpants. Again, I do expect this to come in the form of different hoodies, sweaters, sweatpants, sweat shorts, very similar to what we've seen in the form of Fear of God Essentials as well as on Fear of God Mainline. I do anticipate different proportions. While everything should be fitting oversized, I do believe there's going to be different styles of cuts, silhouettes, the way that the fabric will fall, garment weights. Jerry tends to do a lot in regard to adjusting the fabrics and the tailoring of his garments to fit just as he envisions. And I am almost certain that we're going to see a myriad of different moisture wicking Adidas technology fused into a myriad of these pieces, which will ultimately allow this collection to really stand out from Essentials as well as Fear of God mainline. So what's the likelihood of us being able to see garments on December 8th? Very likely. At this juncture, we've seen about seven different variants of sneaker models. First out of the seven is the moccasin looking sneaker. Now, I don't know for certain whether or not this falls into the category of being a mainline or Adidas, but I figured for the purposes of today's video, I would just call it an athletics piece just because it was styled as such. The shoe seems to be made out of entirely suede, at least for the upper. Looks super, super soft. Not unlike the pair that we have before us today. And my first inclination as it relates to this sneaker is not necessary to like them, but not dismiss them at the same time. I'd be interested in seeing them styled with like a flare pair of pants, that contrasting suede flap representing that moccasin style act as like a contrasting layer that would play along with my pants. I'd just be interested in seeing how that look. But outside of that, the shoe looks like a Fear of God 101 in terms of like the base of the shoe, especially for the midsole and outsole. So, so my first inclination is to kind of not like it, but not dismiss it altogether. What do you guys think about the shoe? Sneaker number two, and actually three, are these classic looking 
tennis shoes that come in a high and low variant. This shoe here, I'm confident, is a part of Fear of God Athletics as it does adorn the Adidas logo that we talked about earlier and is also distinguished by the Fear of God branding as well. This is a shoe where I personally land in indifference just because I already have owned power phases. I own white sneakers that kind of look like this already. So I don't know what it would do different in my wardrobe if I were to acquire them. Needless to say, I am still open to acquiring them at the very least for the purposes of reviewing them and seeing them here on the channel. But yeah, both the high and the low variants aren't really doing too, too much for me. I accidentally skipped on the probability for one, two, and three dropping this release. I'm going to go ahead and say unlikely for the first three sneakers. Now, similarly to two and three, four and five are a high and low variant of this sneaker here, controversially known as the Fear of God. 86 forum or 86 rivalry low. It seems like the Locust and Wild Honey community is very torn as to what the actual model Jerry used for the silhouette is. I personally fall into the camp of calling it a rivalry, though I do understand why many are following the sneaker publications calling this a forum. So just to keep it simple, I'll call it an 86 low. These are very, very high probability of releasing in December. December, December 8th more specifically. Production on this pair has been finished for a while now. We've seen four different variants and the black pair actually is not going to be releasing. And that was actually confirmed by Jerry Lorenzo himself. But if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my full review video on the sneaker. I talk details, pricing, and all that good stuff. And I will provide that link down below. As I've already alluded to, the fifth sneaker that we've seen leaked is just a high version of this silhouette here being comprised of the same high quality suede on the 86 low. But unfortunately, I don't anticipate the high version being a part of December 8th's release. Editing Paul here, check in because the sixth sneaker that I did mention in today's video didn't record. These are what are known as the Athletic Runner. Now, from what it looks like, these do take some design inspiration from its mainline counterpart, somewhat reminiscing the vintage sneaker from Fear of God. The shoe featured suede and a ripstop nylon upper construction, lace locks to secure a snug fit, and a double thick white sole with a jagged traction pattern for the outsole. All right, now on to the seventh and final sneaker that has been leaked. We have here the fear of god athletics basketball sneaker model and guys i have to say once these official release you will be absolutely in for a treat i won't be delving too too much into the details that comprise the sneaker but just know they are very very good and i cannot wait for the full review video to be live here on the channel but if you guys want to see that i need you to like today's video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on not to get too much into it but there's so much detail that comprises this sneaker and i do plan to use them on the court. As of this very moment, we've seen four different cutaways. First, the sample pair that is white with almost a navy looking toe. There's the pair that kind of is reminiscent of the string or the question colorway that came out of Nike and Fear of God. I do believe that one is coming down the line, but not December 8th. And then there is the two main colorways, which I want to say might not be dropping December 8th. I'm not going to lie to you. I heard that production is officially done for these models in both black and white. However, from experience of the past, it is a common practice of Fear of God Athletics to hold back sneakers that are ready to go for months on end. So probability of this sneaker dropping on December 8th, I'm gonna say it's possible, but for me, in my opinion, I'm gonna say it's unlikely. I can definitely see the sneaker being held up until 2024. With that being said, that's gonna conclude today's video. Information covering everything we know so far. We have a December 8th release, which is just around the corner. And my question to you is A, are you excited? And B, what do you plan on picking up if you plan on picking up anything at all? With that being said, if you do enjoy Fear of God related content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. As you can see, I've got two unreleased sneakers before me. This one is still yet to be styled. I have a full review on it. And this pair here is going to get a sizing, performance, just overall in depth review, as well as styling. And that'll be coming down the pipeline in the next week or so guys thank you so much for stopping by the channel it really is a privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content and i'll never take it for granted i will catch you in the next upload peace and be blessed